it's T Egg Stamp and Sharon. On today's video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to color these cute little succulents. I love succulents, so this is a fun video for me to make and share with y'all. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe below and then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video or I go live on YouTube. If you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be honored to help you with your Stampin' Up! supply needs. You can find out how to contact me, how to sign up for my newsletter, my blog, all that below the video. Let's make some cards. As I mentioned, I love succulents, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to color them. This one was done with the watercolor pencils. Um, very easy, pretty quick. Here's the stamp set, Simply Succulents. And of course, some amazing fun dies to go with it. And I have not even played with this one yet um, because I was so excited about just coloring. Coloring is so relaxing. I am going to be using my stays on because I need to be adding water to this. And I'll be adding water with the water painters. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to ink up my stamp using the stays on stays on is not going to smear when i add the water to my project i am using whisper watt thick over just the regular whisper watt we're gonna i'm gonna stamp my image right here and while i have my ink out i'm going to ink up my flower pot and I'm going to stamp that right there. So now I'm just going to start coloring and you will notice that I'm going to use different colors for my um, succulents because they do come in different colors. The way that the colors change is when they are stressed. So um, you can actually read up on that because I love succulents. I have them all over my house and I find it very interesting how they do change. So I want to point out, especially on the pot, you can see all my stroke marks and everything. I'm going to do some blending with my uh, water painter 
but I just love how you can just squeeze the bulb just a little bit, get that tip wet. There we go. We don't want it too wet, but just wet enough. And then I'm just gonna start coloring. And sometimes I'll go back to the uh, watercolor pencil and pick up some more color. And then I always like to clean off my brush to make sure I don't muddy up my colors. And that also kind of dries out my tips. So I just want to come back in, make sure I have enough water. And again, I'm just smoothing out all the stroke marks and kind of blending the colors. I think I've made like four of these and they all look different. <laughs> So you can see just how fast this is to finish these off. And now I can take this all to my die cutting machine and cut it all out. I did want to mention the best way to sharpen your pencils is just a cheap little dime store um, pencil sharpener. If you use one that's like electric or like I have a crank one, it just really chews up the pencil and you don't need that. You just need a little, what, 50 cent sharpener. So just wanted to let you know that if you didn't already know. So now we're gonna switch things up and we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends. And by the way, you can use both on one project. You don't have to just do either or. So we are using Memento Ink. However, um, if you do decide to use your uh, blends and watercolor pencils, keep that in mind about the ink. And what you can do is just come back maybe after the card has dried and add a little bit of Stampin' Blends. You're not gonna really be blending per se. You're just gonna be giving highlights to any of your succulents. The same thing, we're gonna stamp our succulents. Again, using Whisper Wet Thick. And our pot. Also, if you choose to use the small stamp that says, you've been on my mind, you can stamp that as well, right here. And then you can just cut it out with the dies. I'm going to be using Old Olive Lat.
So I switched to my um, bullet end so that I don't go out of the lines, but if I do, I have my trusty eraser is what I call it. It is the uh, Stampin' Blends a lifter and I can fix anything that goes out of the lines that is gonna mess up my project. Then I'm gonna take the dark and actually I'm going to use uh, Rich Razzleberry for my dark because succulents come in different colors. I'm using the lighter one. And I'm not really gonna blend those. I'm gonna leave it just like it is. Bringing in my dark, just to give it a little bit more definition. So while the blends may take a little bit longer, you get two totally different effects. And I like both of them, so you choose. Now I'm gonna use mint macaron. And now the darker. Bringing in the light and doing some shading. The mint macaron is a little bit more subtle, but I love it. Um, okay, so now we're going to bring in our granny apple green. Now we're pulling in our flirty flamingo. Trust me, all of these succulents, I looked it up like what colors, because I know what colors I have, they're all different colors. And again, it's all about whether they've been stressed with sunlight, their dirt, their soil, um, just depends. Now I'm just gonna use the Mossy Meadow, the light version, and just give these a little bit darker green. Okay. 
And then for our uh, pot, we're going to use uh, light Cajun craze. Gonna bring in the dark. So I'm going to bring my other one back in. You can see a little bit more subtle, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. The blends just give a different look, but I love them both the same. I'm not going to actually assemble my card here on the video because there are lots of pictures on my blog or whatever, but I just wanted you to see the difference. Um, I did not tell you what paper that was, by the way, but I will. So in the mini catalog, there are also um, these fun papers called Oso oh Ombre, and they're so pretty. You can really see the ombre effect on the solids, but just super pretty. And um, I mean, like, look at that, so pretty. So this is a new paper pack that you can get um, on my store. And I hope that I've inspired you. I hope I've opened your eyes to the beauty of succulents and the different ways to color them. Happy stamping, y'all.